This is InfoLive TV headline news, March 13th. I'm Margot Dukevich. Hamas is attempting to ignite a third intifada in the West Bank with Iran and Syrian support. In recent weeks, the Israeli security establishment has identified growing attempts by Hamas in Gaza to strengthen its stronghold in the West Bank and start a third round of violence in order to topple the current Fatah leadership and Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. Islamic Jihad threatens to strike deep inside Israel after four Islamic Jihad and Fatah operatives, including the local Bethlehem commander, were killed in separate clashes with IDF forces in the West Bank Wednesday. Mahmoud Shahada, who was interviewed by InfoLive TV, has been on Israel's wanted list for eight years. In the morning, Salah Kaku, who planned a suicide bomb attack, was also killed. At least 10 rockets were fired at the Western Negev from midnight Wednesday, breaking an almost week-long lull in rocket fire at Israeli communities. Two Qassam rockets landed near a school in Stirot as well as local warehouses, causing damage but no casualties. In response, the Air Force targeted rocket launches in Gaza early Thursday morning. Israel is bracing for what is expected to be a skewed report from U.S. Lieutenant General William Fraser on Israeli and Palestinian implementation of roadmap obligations. Fraser is set to meet on Friday with Defense Minister Barak, Palestinian Prime Minister Salam Fayed. The expectation is that his report will be bad for Israel with an emphasis on expansion of settlements, officials said. A handful of Holocaust survivors, including some saved by German industrialist Oskar Schindler, will mark the 65th anniversary this weekend of the Nazi destruction of the Jewish ghetto in Krakow. And winter's back, albeit for a short while. Temperatures are expected to drop and rain is expected to fall throughout the country. The weatherman said the cold and wet weather will continue to Friday, but Saturday is expected to be clear and temperatures will rise.